My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke, just in case you do not know. What I have here on my back is the Mountain Hardware JMT 35 liter backpack. This is a product that I've been testing out for a while now, and I'm ready to share with you all my thoughts and opinions. This is an agenda-free review, and it begins right now. With the JMT 35 backpack, for most people, this is a day pack. 35 liters, it's not a huge pack by any means. If you could go minimal, you can use this for overnight trips. This pack features a clamshell design and is made from very good materials. There are two versions of this pack. There's a 25 liter and a 35 liter, and also there's a men's and women's version. You can find these packs in numerous sizes, small to medium, medium to large. With the small to medium size, this fits torsos from 16 to 19 inches. With the medium to large, that is 18 to 21 inches. The small to medium waist belt will fit from 28 to 47, whereas the medium to large, that will fit 30 to 48. Next, everybody, when it comes to the colors of this backpack, you're looking at a black and a sort of green color. This is what they refer to as spruce. So you have the black, the green. In my opinion, it's a nice looking pack. You do have some accent colors such as the yellow for your trekking poles and whatnot. But all in all, this is a very nice looking backpack. Before we take a look at the features of this backpack, let's talk about the materials. You're looking at a 210 denier ripstop shell with a 420 Kodora base. You have YKK zippers, you have ITW buckles, and the pack also features a steel frame. By the way, the weight of the small medium size that you see here, this is two pounds, 10 ounces on my scale. Now everyone, let's take a look at the features of this pack because it has some really cool aspects to it. The first one is right here. You have this mesh cover, which can be used as a stove pocket. This is removable. You can take this off and you can stow it in the bottom here. There's a small pocket for this to go. Then when you need it, you simply reattach it. This is a very, very smart feature. Now you can see behind this, I do have some cordage here. I added this myself. This is very simple to do and it adds a ton of functionality to your backpack. So I can run and gun, I can have this stored and I can have my jacket stowed here or maybe even other pieces of gear if I want to. If you would like to see how I did this, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. If so, I'll make a video. Above this mesh panel, you have tie off points for trekking poles and so on. Below that, you have the loops for trekking poles and so on. Here is the bottom of the pack, nothing to talk about. Turning the pack over to its side, you have two compression straps. One features a buckle, going down you have a hydration pocket. This is stretchy. Here is the second compression strap. You can open this up. Look at the size of that hydration pocket. It is huge. It's deep and it's also very wide. So you could fit multiple water bottles in here. You could fit a water bottle and a small tripod. You can even fit pieces of gear such as tarps and so on. On the other side of the pack, you have the same features. Compression strap, compression strap, stretchy hydration pocket. Talking about the side of the pack here with these compression straps, you can see how they attach at the back and also here at the front. Now the front side features what I'm going to call a wing. I'm really not sure what you would call this. Basically what this is, is a piece of fabric that extends and kind of wraps around the pack. You can see it there on screen. This is an interesting feature because it does assist with holding in whatever you're attaching here on the side. It kind of cradles it. So let's say that you're out doing some photography, you have a tripod in here. You have this wing to kind of hold that thing into place and then you have the compression strap putting pressure on it. It's an interesting feature, I haven't seen this before and it works well. Up here at the top, you have this large grab handle. This is huge. So this pack features two grab handles, in fact. You have this large front one, and you have a small back one. I mentioned before that this pack features a clamshell design, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But up here at the top, you do have a single zipper, and this offers you access to the lid of this pack. Next to that, you have two loops so you can attach additional gear. Here's the grab handle that I talked about on the back of the pack. Here is the back of the pack. You have the suspension system. You have load lifters up at the top. You have stretchable loops on each side, adjustable sternum strap, additional loops down at the bottom. This is the back of the pack here. And as you can see, it is completely flat. There's no recesses, nothing is raised. There's not even any lumbar support. The waist belt is also extremely simple. You have a mesh pocket on the left-hand side, and on the right side, you do not. 
you have more of a mesh sleeve that is stretchable. The waist belt offers basically no padding at all. It is nothing but mesh. Looking at the suspension system here, I mentioned before that the torso length of this pack, the small to medium size is 16 to 19 inches. You can open this up here and you can slide this component, the shoulder harness, up and down. So you can get the fit that is right for you. Again, folks, the medium to tall torso length is 18 to 21 inches. You can see here on the back, you have two-way zippers. All the zippers have draw pulls, I forgot to mention that. And they are made of some sort of cordage. So you open up the zippers and this opens like a clamshell. On the inside of the pack, you're looking at two hydration ports. You have a clip to support a bladder. Down below that, you have a sleeve for the bladder. Outside of that, there's no more pockets, no more features. Now everyone, it's time to move over to the Review Pros. First off, I have to say this. With all of my testing that I've done with this backpack, I've discovered that this is a top-notch product. It works incredibly well as a day bag, it works incredibly well as an overnight pack. The thing that you have to keep in mind is that this is 35 liters. This is a small size pack. Perfect for day hikes, no doubt about it. But if you're going out for an overnight trip, you have to keep your load out small and minimal. I can do that and I have done it. And in that capacity, this pack has worked exceptionally well. As a day pack, very, very good. 35 liters, in my opinion, is perfect for day pack size, especially into the colder months. When you have thicker, warmer jackets, you need more clothing and so on, you will appreciate the size of this pack. The overall design of this pack is very smart. It has some really, really good features. Now, of course, none of those features would mean anything if this pack wasn't comfortable. Luckily, it is. This pack is very, very comfortable to wear. Because it's so small, and because of the design of the harness system, the suspension system, the pack fits directly to your back. It really does become a part of you. So you could do anything that you need to do and this pack stays with you, it doesn't flop around. You really can control and compress your loadout so there's no movement. So comfort is excellent, there's no doubt about that. Next, the quality of this backpack is excellent. Everything about this pack screams quality, from the materials to the craftsmanship. There's no loose threads, there's no issues with this pack. Talking about a very smart design, this front mesh pocket is excellent. I really like this. This is a feature that I look for in every pack that I get. I like having an external pocket and there's numerous reasons why. First off, it's easy to take your jacket off and stow it in this pocket and it's secure. I like that. Next and even more importantly, let's say that you have a wet item. Let's say it rained the night before, you have a wet tent fly. You could store that on the outside so all the water just drips to the ground as you're hiking, no big deal. You don't have to put it inside of your backpack where everything else gets wet. That is so incredibly important. The overall design of this is very smart. The way that you can take this off, you can put it up. Also, it's very secure. It attaches up here to this loop and also to the side here. So you don't have to worry about anything that you shove in this pocket falling out. Also, the bottom here is sewn. So again, you don't have to worry about anything falling out from the bottom. Before going any further, everyone, let's talk about this mesh panel here for a second. Funny story. So before I got this pack in, I was looking at it, considering it. I saw pictures of the pack with this mesh panel. At the same time, I saw pictures with no panel at all. I read over the description on numerous sites, including Mountain Hardware, and there's no mentioning of this panel. So when I received the pack, there was no panel. I figured this was like some sort of optional accessory that you had to buy. So it wasn't until maybe like a couple of weeks ago, I was looking at this pack down at the bottom. I was like, well, what's this? Oh, that's not a seam, and I shove my hand in it, it's actually a pocket, and here is the panel. That is incredibly funny, because I've seen no mention of this anywhere, and I only stumbled upon it because I was wondering why there was pictures of this panel out there, but yet no mentioning of it. So, in truth, it was just happenstance that I found it. There's no indication that there's anything there, it looks like a seam, so... Yeah. Anyways, folks, those are the pros that I have for this backpack. Now let's talk about price before moving to the cons. Because when I was looking at this pack, I was surprised at how expensive it was. $160 for this backpack. Let me tell you, things have changed a lot over the course of the last year. All of a sudden, we have inflation. It's having a major impact on the outdoor industry along with all other areas. And you could really see that with this backpack and packs like it. I was going to list $160 as a con for this pack, but it's not. This is very much the going rate right now for a 35 liter pack. And I have to say folks, it is expensive. There's no doubt about it. But things have changed a lot in the last year. Where you used to be able to find 
35 liter backpacks for around $100 or less, that is almost impossible now. Now you're looking at 160 all the way up to 200. I did some searching last night and just about every single 35 liter backpack is 150 to $200. If you're looking for a backpack that's under say 150, you will have to go with either military surplus, you will have to go for a used backpack, or you will have to go with a product that's made by a Chinese company. With that being said folks, 160 for this backpack, that's very much commonplace. You're not going to find mini packs for less than this. Again, I was going to list this as a con, but I can't. For that 160, you do get excellent features, excellent materials. This is a top-notch product that's going to last you a very long time. All right, now let's focus on the cons because there are a few to talk about here. First off, con number one involves the waist belt. The waist belt itself is very, very simple. It's nothing more than just some mesh. That's about it. There's no padding here at all. Now, luckily this pack is small enough and you're not going to carry enough weight where this makes much of a difference, but a little bit of padding would have been appreciated. Next, as you can see, the straps here are very, very long and there's no strap keepers. So you will have to get some rubber bands and make your own. It would be nice if the pack included some strap keepers, especially for this price. Focusing on the waist belt for a second, you have the pocket on the left, you have the sleeve on the right. I have found that the sleeve is not very useful. You can stick like a bar in this, but that's about it. It would be much more beneficial to have two full-size pockets instead of one pocket and a sleeve. Next up, everyone, this pack features no rain cover, so you will have to supply one yourself. You will have to get one to fit this backpack. For 160, I would expect a rain cover to be included. Most importantly, as far as the cons go, the ventilation of this pack is just okay. It's adequate. The back is flat. There's no raised sections, no lowered sections. So ventilation is just okay with this backpack. So if you're out with this backpack, it's a hot day, you're pushing yourself, you will get wet with sweat. And that sweat is not going to dry until you take this pack off. And that's because ventilation is limited due to the design of this backpack. The last con that I have for this backpack before moving to the summary is this. When this pack is fully loaded, you have it pretty much maxed out. As you're hiking, there is some creaking noises coming from this pack. And I believe it's from the metal frame just kind of like moving against the fabric material. It makes a creaking sound as you hike. It's not super obnoxious. I don't notice it most of the time, but I have picked up on it here and there. And now everyone that takes us over to the summary, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Do I recommend this pack? Absolutely. This is a fantastic day pack. If you can go minimal, lightweight enough, small enough gear, you could definitely use this for overnight trips. This pack is incredibly comfortable. It's adjustable. It has some really good features to it. There is room for improvement, but all in all, this is an excellent backpack. By the way, there is a safety whistle right here on the sternum strap. I think I've covered everything, everyone. What do you all think about this backpack? Does it look like a good product? What do you all think about the price and what's taking place with inflation and so on? Crazy times, folks, crazy times, no doubt about it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. Make sure to comment down below. I'm curious, what are your thoughts about this backpack? I have to say that I really do like it. I really do. Again, the materials are excellent. The construction is excellent. Buy once, cry once, that's how I feel. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.